December and we are doing the R, the H, and possibly the D line today. <laughs> A lot closer than I'd like it to be. Right, our line, Aurora. You can see Angie's medical campus in the distance. It is very loud. Gate, but they realized why did we build Rich Gate, so they stopped putting it down there. Uh, we are in the there's like an office park over here, but then there's this massive bridge, and I want to go on the bridge, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> Truly liminal spaces here. Uh, welcome to the USA. Now, this is what I call infrastructure. I think if not just bikes saw this scene, he would literally collapse. I'm not sure if this is leftover from an old time, but since when are there spin bikes in the Denver metro area? This is kind of cool. Oh, look, a plane landing at Centennial over there. That looks like it's a private plane. My plan now is a little bit weird. Basically, I am going to do the H line after this. So I have to actually take the R line back up about halfway to Florida. And then from Florida, which is the terminus of the H line, I can take the H line. Uh, but unfortunately, the the uh, convention center or the uh, the downtown loop stations are closed because they're redoing some tracks. So they all terminate at the convention center. So I'm just gonna have to get it to there, and then I'll probably get the D line from the convention center down to Mineral. So yeah, that's the plan. It's gonna be it's gonna take a while. Littleton Mineral on the D-Line and 
that was the last stop in my pretty long journey <laughs> to uh, go to every single RTD rail station, but here we are. I believe this is Santa Fe Drive right here. Let's look around a little bit, you know? Yeah, so not much here. It's basically just you know, a parking lot. Ooh, look at that. They've got a whole dot matrix indicator above the thing. That's cool. I've never seen it like, in a different place other than the platform. That's kind of awesome. I haven't seen that at any other rail station. But there you go. It's just basically a parking lot, a bridge, and two platforms. So yeah, I mean, if you live in Highlands Ranch, I guess this is useful. But honestly, even if you live in Littleton, I doubt maybe besides some of those people, but it doesn't look like there's a path. But I think Littleton downtown is a lot cooler. So let's go check that out. Back on the train. All right. Littleton downtown, we're gonna walk around. This is a nice station. They've got like an old train station building here and then the platform is kind of behind all of these like trees and grass and things. So it doesn't look like a country, terrible place to be. I actually really like this station. This is a nice little downtown area and probably the most surprising thing is how many people are here for how cold of a day it is. Littleton is one of the um, like further out suburbs from Denver so it's a little bit more independent so you can definitely tell that in the downtown but it's pretty significant actually there's like a lot it's a dense development which is cool there's like a couple of these cool little shops in here unfortunately I'm kind of at the edge of downtown like right, right now if you kind of turn around it's pretty barren but this is also kind of the start of the actual town it's got way quieter just a few blocks outside of downtown I don't know where I am. I'm a little bit south of Main Street, which is the main one. There are a lot of like taverns and cafes and things. It was pretty cool for a, for one of the suburbs for sure. It kind of reminds me of like a little bit older, nicer version of Old Town Arvada, which I also love Old Town Arvada. I've made it back over here. I really like this station. This may end up being my favorite light rail station. I think some of the commuter rail stations are very nice but i really like this light rail it's really cool it's like the old building and everything i feel like it would be basically perfect if it was just a little bit more obvious where to go from the station to get to like main street and all that so i didn't end up filming uh an ending shot or an outro or anything because um my phone was about to die in downtown so i wanted to keep it alive but um you know it's been a great month and a half of riding trains and i'm happy that i've finally done this because this is something i've been wanting to do for forever so yeah it's been great <laughs>